and I had a craniocervical fusion surgery about a year and a half ago and what that means is my skull is fused to the vertebra C2 in my neck and so it makes it so I can't like turn my head side to side and I can't I don't have much range of motion up and down and so if you think about it, when you're swimming, most of the strokes that you do when you're swimming, you have to move your head to be able to breathe when you're swimming. So like when you do freestyle, you move your head to the side to breathe. So obviously I can't do that. And then um, just the typical breaststroke, you have to kind of like cock your neck, neck back to breathe when you're swimming. Um, and so it can make it kind of tricky. And so, I'll show you in the pool like what I do when I, I don't have a snorkel to be able to breathe easier with. Um, I just do like a little like light brush stroke, but my you'll like notice that my body kind of sinks down further into the into the pool to like lift. So I lift like my body up like this, kind of with my chest instead of like talking my neck back to breathe. And so that works for kind of like slow swimming. But if you're wanting to actually like swim fast, then you probably would want to have a snorkel to be able to like breathe easier um, if you can't move your neck. Right. So, here we go. Exercising when I'm upright and standing is almost impossible. Um, and so for me, swimming is kind of the most tolerable exercise. Unfortunately, getting out of the pool is really tricky. Um, and I tend to sometimes pass out or come close to passing out every time I get out of the pool. But to avoid that, um, I'll try to first like sit like this for a couple minutes and then like come up to the edge of the pool and sit like a for a few minutes and try to um, not pass out uh, but sometimes it, you can't avoid it and so um, I always try to make sure that I have somebody with me when I go swimming just in case I were to pass out when getting out um, and then the other thing is that just being in the pool and um, having the like the weight being taken off your joints is really helpful if you have um, painful joints even for your neck. Um, and so like something like this, when you know something like this with like a good neck press can be really relaxing and helpful. And um, yeah, this is actually my first time going swimming this entire year and I'm really thankful um, because it's something that I really enjoy and um, I hope to do more of it soon. So, 
let me guys know if you guys have gone swimming after your neck or spinal fusion surgeries and I'd love to hear how you guys kind of adapt to to make it work. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye!